Hey everyone, back again with another episode of Stuff and Things, and today I'm going to talk to you about some holsters that I use, or more specifically, custom Kydex holsters from QVO Tactical. I made a video a couple weeks back talking about how I was switching from a 3-4 o'clock carry position to appendix carry, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link for it right up here. I showed you these two holsters made by QVO, and since then I've been getting a ton of questions about them, so I figured I might as well make a whole video about it. So QVO Tactical is based out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and they're out there making quality custom Kydex holsters. The holsters are completely made to order and right now you're looking at about a two week turnaround time. They're currently making six different styles of holsters as well as some other accessories like mag carriers and fixed blade sheaths. I currently own four of their six styles of holsters because you can never have enough guns and you can never have enough holsters. So let me show you what I had them make for me. First up, this is what they call their discrete holster. I had this one made for my Springfield XDS in nine millimeter. This is one of their most minimal designs using 0.08 inch Kydex, an injection molded clip and you can actually get two different styles. This clip is made for a belt that's an inch and a half and they also have a bigger clip that's made for belts that are an inch and three quarters. This screw right here is to adjust the retention of the holster, which you can actually adjust on all of their holsters. This is about as simple as I could have made this thing because there's a lot of options on their site when deciding what you want in a holster. First of all, they have access to over 20 different guns that they can mold for. You can choose right or left-handed carry, the different size clips like I mentioned. There's over 10 different styles of Kydex to choose from, whether it's different colors, a fabric overlay, or even a custom printed image onto the Kydex. You can choose if you want your sweat guard to be high or low. There's an option to mold for threaded barrels if you have one. And there's also 10 different options of weapon mounted lights and lasers that you can get molded along with your gun. I actually have some examples of those options here with me so let's move on to the next one. This is what they call their standard. This is an outside the waistband holster and this was actually molded for a gun that I no longer own. You can probably guess just judging by the outside. I had this made for a Gen 3 Glock 17 that was running a Streamlight TLR 1HL and it had suppressor height sights as well as a threaded barrel. Here's a 19 with the same light so you can kind of get the idea. These belt loops are also injection molded just like the clips on the other holsters. I chose the options to go with the gray back, the black front, and the gray eyelets. These eyelets are here so you can adjust the height of the holster as well as how it's canted. The retention on these are great and they're adjustable as well. I prefer not to open carry so this is just something that I would use at the range. Next up I have the more discreet. This is very similar to the regular discreet but this one is geared more towards appendix in the waistband. This one was actually molded for the 19 with the TLR so obviously it's a perfect fit. Now I've already explained this in the other video but what makes this one more discreet is the addition of this little wing above the retention screw. When this is riding appendix style in the front of your pants, this wing is designed to put pressure against your belt, pushing the butt of the gun into your body. Let me see if I can show you an example. Here's that holster with the wing removed. If you look from the side, you can kind of see how there's a gap between the butt of the gun and my body. So now when I put my shirt over it, you can kind of see the butt of the gun sticking out here. You can kind of get it seated right so that you can't see it as much, but that's what the wing does for you. Now here's that same holster with the wing installed. As you can see from the side here, the wing is putting pressure up against my belt, pushing the butt of the gun in towards my body. So before where the butt of the gun was pushing outward, the wing keeps it in closer to my body so there's no gap here. Now I put my t-shirt over this and it's a lot easier to conceal without printing. You'll notice I don't really have to adjust the butt of the gun. I know where it is because it's up against my body and I'll know if it's sticking out or not. I really like that wing, it's super useful for appendix carry, so now enter my favorite holster, the Wingman. I don't think the lighting is doing this thing justice, but this thing's like artwork. I had this holster molded for my custom Glock 19 running a Surefire XC1, suppressor height sights, and an RMR. The Wingman also comes with this spot over here to hold a spare magazine. This was made with their carbon fiber kydex, two red eyelets for a little accent, and then just a black back. What makes this one my current favorite holster is because of the J-style hooks. Let me put this one on and show you what I'm talking about. Here again you can see this wing in action pushing the butt of the gun in towards my body preventing it from printing. Now what I like about these J-hooks is that it provides even pressure across your belt. When you have just one clip the gun tends to kind of move around a little bit and get sloppy at times. But with two clips the pressure stays even on both sides especially with this extra mag here. Now this style of holster does look really big and people think that it can't be comfortable, but I can honestly say that it actually is very comfortable. I've been carrying like this, driving like this, just doing everything as I normally would, just like this, and I really don't have any complaints about it. So that is my current collection of QVO holsters. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Or if you just want to know my opinion on a certain holster, let me know. I actually want to do a random giveaway to give one of these holsters to you guys so you can check it out for yourself. To enter, all you have to do is one, be subscribed to my channel, and two, follow me on Instagram at talon underscore edc. I post a ton of pictures and videos of guns, knives, gears, and all sorts of stuff over there, so go check it out. Huge shout out to Roger and anyone else involved over there at QVO Tactical for hooking me up with this gear and these awesome holsters. I'll leave links to both 
their site and Instagram down below so you guys can check out some of the other work that they do. And there's still more stuff on their site, like two different style holsters I didn't show you. They provide some firearm training courses that hopefully I can get to someday. And I know you guys make a holster for a Jameson bottle. I wonder if you could whip something up for a Jägermeister bottle. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Feel free to leave a like, and I will talk to you in the next one.